Hello everyone, my name is Benedict, taking part in the Autonomous Driving U19 category. Some things about myself, I'm 15 years old from Singapore. As for my experience with robotics, I have been taking robotics as my co-curricular activity since primary school. And this was my second time participating in RoboCup Co-Space. The task was to program the robot to travel from the start point to the end point in the least time possible, while passing through all the checkpoints. This can be broken down into two basic program components, line tracking and checkpoints. This is the map, which has five checkpoints. I found this path to be the most optimal, as it is the shortest distance while passing through all the checkpoints. Apart from line tracking and checkpoints, there are eight important points to program in three of which are circled in black. After all these points have been overcome, the robot will be able to reach the end. Moving on to the code, programming the checkpoints is quite simple. When the color sensor detects yellow, the robot pauses for two seconds with its LED flashing before moving forward. The line tracking is also very straightforward, as shown here. For the first obstacle, if all the light sensors detect white, then turn right. For the second obstacle, if the color sensor detects blue, then turn right. The third obstacle requires a separate line tracking system. If the color sensor detects yellow, the variable state becomes 2, triggering the alternate line tracking, where the robot turns towards whichever side white is detected, increasing the sharpness of the turn depending on how much white is detected. After the sensor detects cyan, the obstacle is cleared and the state changes back to 1, triggering the original line tracking. The 4th, 5th and 6th obstacles are very similar to the second obstacle, where if the color sensor detects a certain color, the robot should turn correspondingly. As shown here, this is a very simple flowchart of my algorithm. When it comes to debugging, I was quite fortunate as the only significant issue was the speed of the robot not being optimized. This led to the robot being unable to track the lines smoothly and the movements being erratic, resulting in the slower overall speed. Though the issue was solved after much trial and error of adjusting the speed values. In conclusion, I am satisfied with what I have done because I believe that I completed the task to the best of my ability. Though I only used one method to accomplish the mission, I made the most out of my time by continuously tweaking my program until it was most efficient. If I had the chance to restart, I would focus fully on completing the map first rather than adjusting the speed midway to the programming, as it reduced the time I had left to finish the program. I believe this experience has taught me many invaluable lessons, including countless coding knowledge, but I believe one of them towers above the rest in importance. Resilience. I learned it through persistently tuning the code tirelessly, never giving up despite facing countless troubles and bugs. If I had to share this learning point with others, I would undoubtedly share about resilience. While resilience is necessary for a good programmer, this value is also indispensable in our daily lives because life is full of hardship and adversity, but we must persevere through them. This leads me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your time.